the last time I had the, the hood up on my my Corvette, my 2019 Corvette, I noticed the lettering on the engine cover was starting to, to flake off and it's red in color. So what I'm gonna try to do is sand off the rest of it and then paint it yellow. So I'm gonna get started on that. This is what I was talking about. The, uh, this red is starting to flake off. Oh, it's coming off pretty easy. And I'm gonna continue to try to get it off and, and then see if I can paint that in yellow. And another Another thing that I tried to do with the car was uh, when the car when I the car arrived, I noticed it had white stitching in the seats, and I purchased several different types of paint pens and and fabric markers to change the color of the stitching in the seats. And one of the pens was a was a paint pen for for painting on tires and and other other abused surfaces so i might try to to use that yellow paint pen on the engine cover let's see how it turns out so i'm just popping off the engine covers <laughs> one of them trying to just flake off the rest of this material so I'll just sand off the material offline or off off camera and then I'll uh, and then when I start to paint I'll show you the paint pen that I'm using and and then how it turns out so here we are at the the workbench. I brought the, the covers over to the workbench and I'm going to try to to sand, start sanding with this 2000 grit paper to see how it how it works out. So I think I'm going to have to put the foam down for this. So one of them Sand it off pretty easy. It was mostly flaking off anyway. In the second one, I ended up going to a thousand grit sandpaper and wet sanding it off, and it mostly came off. And then there was in some of the uh, on some of the edges, there was a little bit of red left, and I took that off with a scraped that off with a razor blade. And then continued to wet sand so they uh, cleaned up pretty good the next step is to clean them up a little bit more and then try out this paint pen so i like i said before i bought these paint pens as uh, a as a an attempt to color the white stitching in the car and these didn't work out at all. They just made a mess. So I moved on to another another marker and I'll do a video on uh, the stitching at another point. I'm gonna prep the surfaces with just a little bit of alcohol here. Just a teeny bit of alcohol. Don't think it needs much. that 
dry. So I'm gonna start one of these, do a couple of letters maybe on camera, and then I'll probably do the rest of them off camera. Okay, well that's not... It's not working out at all. Oh, I forgot. You have to press down on these pens to get the ink to flow. Oop, well, that made a mess. <laughs> that didn't work out. I have to clean that up. All right, I'm gonna, I cleaned up after my, my first mess. I'm going to try again here. Still making a mess. This is not working out. Well, I put one layer on. It is a paint, so it seems like it needs to be gone. It needs to be put on in several layers. Of course, this is how it started. This is what it looks like on the first layer. I'll go in a little closer. So I'm going to do the other cover, and then when this dries, I'm going to do a second coat, maybe even a third coat. The second coat is definitely an improvement over the first, but it still needs at least one more coat, maybe two. Yesterday when I Applied the second coat. The first coat was still a little tacky in a couple of places, so I let the the paint dry overnight before I apply the third coat. So after the third coat on this one, and we still only have two coats on this one. The uh, third coat still didn't go on very well, and I'm considering doing something different. Maybe sanding this down and, and getting some model paint and applying it with model paint. If you, if you see closely, it's just not covering the, uh, the letters very well. It's leaving little, little gaps. Even after th three coats, I'm a little disappointed in, in the results. I didn't like how the paint covered the, uh, the letters on the th on the third coat, so I'm still seeing a pretty uh, splotchy coating. So I'm gonna sand it down a little bit to smooth it out, and then I'm gonna try out this uh, tester paint, it's just model paint. My only concern about it is it may not stand up well to the temperatures under the hood so it may peel off too but we're going to give it a try before i start wet sanding this uh this paint from the paint pen off or really i'm just going to rough it up i'm not going to not going to sand it all off i'm going to sand it smooth because some of the the bubbles and other problems with it i went ahead and taped it off on one of them uh, when I was doing some wet sanding I scuffed the the plastic a little bit so it'd be better to have it have it protected while I'm doing the wet sanding and you know, I'll probably even leave it on there when I when I paint it with the paintbrush so on one of them on this one yeah I got a couple of little specks on the uh, on the plastic too that I'll get off later there's not much change after doing the wet sanding on the paint Scuffed it up a little bit, smoothed it out a bit, but they that paint pen paint was pretty tough stuff. It took me, I spent about 
five minutes on, maybe five to ten minutes on each one. And uh, scuffed it up a little bit, but it didn't take it down as much as I thought it was going to. So one coat of the Tester's model paint. Did a pretty good job. And with the brush, it was a little, it was easier to apply evenly. So this is with the model paint. And then this one is, I haven't done yet. This is still with the, uh, I finished up the painting of the letters on the engine covers. Turned out okay. And as you can see, I uh, went outside of the lines in a couple of places and I cleaned that, cleaned that up with just a paintbrush and some acetone along the edges and there were a couple of spots over here also and they they cleaned up easily with just uh, some fingernail polish remover and uh, and another paintbrush so let's go ahead and put these on the car I think they look okay. <laughs> 